Okay, how to beat Storm Terror slash Devalon. So as you can see here, I'm going to be using Geo Traveler for the majority of this fight. So you may notice that he is level 60. Don't worry too much about it. I've toned down all of his gear to make sure that he is on level and on stat. So, you know, the, the, the level is really just a number now. Okay. So we're going to be bringing double Geo because we want the double Geo bonus, right? Which gives us a 15% flat damage bonus when we have a shield. This is going to be provided by Noel here. She is also guaranteed. Don't worry about it. Okay, so as you can see here, all of our gear is trash, right? We're going to be bringing Amber and Shangling for the double pyro bonus. That means we have a 25% flat damage bonus increase, right? We need the DPS because this boss is actually phased, okay? I don't have very good gear on any of my characters at all, which means that, you know, this boss shouldn't be too difficult, but it shouldn't be, you know, one phase, you know? So the reason why this boss is phased is because after every single DPS phase, he will take over at least two platforms that you can stand on. What it'll mean is that there'll be little energy fissures that will come out of the ground and constantly damage you while you're on the platform. I'll go ahead and demonstrate this later as we get into the fight. Let's go. Okay, so we've got Storm Terror here. All right, pretty easy. The main thing is that he's got a shield, right? So we need to lower his shield before he's actually able to be, like, actually hurt, right? He has no elemental weakness, right? So he's actually completely neutral here. He's not immune to anything. He's not weak to anything. So you can just do damage to him. That's all you need to worry about there. I sniped him with Amber. Just do a little bit of extra. You can dash through that. If you want to know whether or not he's, if he's going to land or do the swipe, stare at his head. If his head moves in a weird way, like left or right, just get ready for the swipe. If he goes up like that, he's going to do a landing. We're going to go from the left here, right, just to make sure that he starts doing his beam. This beam has a very deceptive range, by the way, so be careful. About where the uh, final wave comes from is where the hitbox is, so you need to really be careful about that. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and up the top here, activate our shield, do a little bit of extra damage, put up our rock, right? All we care about is just doing damage here, right? So once the DPS phase is over, well, I'm just going to happen right now. Once it's over, he's going to shoot four fireballs, right, right here. Come on. What we want to do is we want to start immediately migrating to the next platform and the next platform after that. We want to move two platforms over because, as you can see here, he's going to go ahead and create energy fissures now. Now we're in a good spot that will activate the updraft, which means that we won't take too much damage, right? Oh, no damage. Let's go. So we just go up on the updraft, right? As you can see there, that platform is taken over, but not this one, right? So we're safe. This is the reason why there's that many phases in the fight. If you do not get him down within the amount of phases that, of like platforms that you have left, you will not be able to beat this fight. Uh, you will constantly, well, you will be able to beat the fight, but it depends on how much HP he has left. So you do really have to, really, really have to do damage to him while you can. Otherwise, you're going to be taking constant damage. Uh, I've baited him to the left here. Let's go ahead and throw down the bar. Throw down the rock there. I'm a little bit scared because the range of that beam is really, like, not that accurate. Right? As you can see there, like, my rock was taking damage from, like, super far away. So you... It's better to be safe and stay very, very far away from the beam. Right, I'm just going to throw down another rock here. Get some DPS. Oh. Come on, Amber. This is the reason why you want to bring the ranged character, by the way. Just in case you have one sliver of H like HP on the shield left, you can go ahead and do that. Go ahead and get him down. All right. We just place the rock here for, you know, DPS. The reason why we place rocks, by the way, is because once it once he gets up, it'll actually break the rock and deal damage to it, which is why we need uh, the rock there. Okay. As you can see, right? We're gonna go ahead and immediately leave to the come on. We're gonna immediately leave to the next platform. You may see that he will like go down or do beam or whatever, it doesn't matter. We bring a ranged unit just in case. His shield takes increased damage once the claws are on the platform. So you may have noticed that Amber does not do a lot of damage when, he's, when she's hitting anything else but the claws. That's not a big deal, okay? All we're doing here is we're just trying to be safe. So I'm expecting fireballs, there we go. So the second that he throws down fireballs, he's always going to do the... Uh, energy fissures, right? So as you can see here, we escape the energy fissures entirely, and it's not going to affect the platform that way. See? So yeah, basically, you just want to make sure that you can get him down within, like, four phases. Maximum four phases, something like that. 
because otherwise you're going to be constantly taking damage from those fissures, right? It's going to make the fight a lot harder. You may actually die uh, and not be able to heal all your party members in time because of how much damage the fissures do and how constantly they hit you, right? So anyways, you're not on a time limit when you're like actually fighting him while he has barrier, right? So you can take your time and dodge, right? Take, take your time, don't take too much damage, right? Always make sure to dash out of things, right? Go ahead and avoid the beam. Don't get too greedy with your damage when you're doing the barrier, right? But the second the DPS phase goes down, it's game. It's game. It's game time. All right, you gotta you gotta really go in here and start doing damage, right? So all we're gonna do here, we're just gonna do a little bit of damage, a little shield off. Go ahead, hit that ulti, and he's dead. Easy. 